Yes, lads, I just thought I'd start. If you're looking for any cheap and reliable FIFA 19 coins, head over to u7buy.com and use code MOIS for 5% off. Top line of the description. Anyway, boys, I'm back with another footage review today. I'm going to be reviewing the Daniel Wass that you get from um, from the foot swaps. So just for you start, if you could drop a like, boys. 50 likes will be sick. Drop sub if you do. And yeah, boys, let's start off with the footies Wass. So starting off, boys, it's only three foot swaps for this. It's very, very easy to do. You hardly have to put any effort into to get the Wass. So I'm on, to my, uh, I'm on my second account currently. Got a less good team, but what we'll do is we'll sub him on here. So what I'll do, I'll use him in game one. I'll use him as a centre mid. Game 2, I use him as a CDM, maybe at half-time I make him a cam, but I feel like he's more of a centre mid slash CDM. Anyway, let's review his card. So, he's obviously Denmark in La Liga and plays for Valencia, so he's fairly easy to link. You might need icons to link him as well, but La Liga, you should maybe get some links with him. He might be fairly hard to link though. But anyway, he's 5'11", high-medium worker. So, high-mediums, it's okay for a centre mid, okay. For a CDM, it's not the best, because obviously he's going to push up a lot. Um, if you're going to play him CDM, I'd definitely recommend having someone with med medium-high work rate. So, like, one of the CDMs do sit back and then Wass can get forward. Uh, he's got a three-star weak foot and he's got four-star skill moves. So, the weak foot, it doesn't matter too much. It would be nice to have four-star, but obviously the four-star skills is nice because you could do La Croqueta. I think it's La Croqueta. I do usually say it wrong, but there we go. Um, anyway... Jumping into his stats, he's got decent pace for a centre mid. I think that's perfect pace, to be honest. I put a shadow on him by accident, boys. I didn't actually mean to put a shadow on him. I don't think that's the best chem style at all. We'll go into the chem style in a sec. Uh, so, shooting stats, unreal. Unreal. Passing stats, obviously unreal as well. Dribbling, obviously that balance upgrade, but really good agility. Really good reactions. Ball control, sick. Composure's a little bit low. Interception. His defending stats could definitely be upgraded. So if you're going to play him centre mid or even CDM, I do think both. I do think we need to upgrade his defending somehow. And same with his physical stats. Like obviously the 99 stamina, absolutely sick. The strength needs to be upped and jumping 100%. Jumping is quite an underrated stat as well, especially with the meta being a lot into heading. So um, let's have a look. At, uh, do you know what? I think a sentinel might actually be all right. You know, you could go with an anchor, but. Uh, Anchor and Sentinel, in my opinion. I'm going to use a Sentinel. I think I've, I should have a Sentinel on this account. So knowing that I've wasted a Shadow, I was just spamming here to try and put a contract on him or something. Can't actually remember, right? We're going to put a Sentinel on him, boys. Um, you could put an Anchor on, like I said. But anyway, we'll go into game one, boys. If you could drop a like, that'd be sick. Drop some if you do. And first game, we'll play him as a centre mid. So let's see how he plays. Okay, boys. Jumping into game number one. I've just kicked out for a throw-in. So what we're going to do is we're going to sub off... This guy, I'm not going to try and pronounce his name. And then we're going to sub on Wass as a right centre mid. Uh, so let's see how he plays as a centre mid, boys. Here's Wass. How would you switch, brother? It's a nice ball into Tellez. Can't do the La Coquette. He feels nice so far. Give it back to Wass first time, bro. Ooh. Check your garden. Oh, Wass. He feels nice. Wass has done him. We're going to just... Ooh, I don't know what his shot power is, but he had a bit of shot power behind that shot. Love that from Wass, right? We'll give him another corner. That's what his corners are like. Whip it in, lad. Got 94 curve. Ooh, okay. Look at Wass sitting back. High medium work rates, by the way. He's sat back. And Kante's pushing up and he's got medium high. Makes sense. Wass. What are you going to do with it, bro? Wass has done well. To Bernardo Silva. And a silver off the post. It's one of the I can feel the game against me. This game, holy right. There we go, boys. Half time whistle. This guy is getting so lucky, man. I don't know if I've included a lot of the hearts. Hopefully, I have so far. Though, in terms of wax, he feels very good on the ball, very agile. You can feel the agility with him. Lovely that he's got four star skills as well. But, um, yeah, I've hit the woodwork this game, and I could, this guy's just getting so many lucky bounces, man. But hopefully, I'll cut him open in the second half. Back into your wax. We're going to shoot with him. Was How many layers of players is he going to have? I beat one. I beat two. I beat three. And he f***ing got another player there. I'm going to do the dirt on him. Look at this. The dirt's going in. I'm sorry. I've hit the post again. I've actually just hit the post. Here's Was. Please, Was. Was. Let's go, Was. What a finish. Holy shit. I'm not, the game is so against me. This game is actually insane. But I finally managed to score. Hit the, hit, after hitting the woodwork twice, he scores off pretty much his first chance. This kid is so bad, though, man. He's dragging out his defenders and stuff. And I just, I can't keep, I can't finish it, man. Got easy opportunities, but beautiful finish from Wath. Beautiful. 
This kid's doing El Tornado's on the halfway line. It's a lovely flick from Kante. Bernardo Silva. Anderson is in. Was. I don't know how Alisson's not saved that, but Was appears in late. Shows for an option and first time shot. I absolutely love that from Was. I need a replay on this. Does this take a deflection? Or is this generally like... I don't know. Was it a good strike? Or I felt like the keeper should have saved that. But let's see a replay on this. But lovely position from Was there. Arrived in the box late. A bit like a Lampard. Or it goes through, through one of his players' legs. And Alisson's like, yo. Alisson is terrible in this game, bro. Terrible. All this guy does is win headers. That's it. Because it's the most zero-skilled thing I've ever seen. Zero-skilled. Zero-skilled. Literally, it requires zero-skill. Zero. 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 He just... Every time, every time he has the ball, he just boot it, hoof it down the pitch. Because I've, I've, I've got Kante and Was in midfield, and they're not going to win anything. Pogba just beats me in the air, CR7 beats me in the air. That's the one issue with Was, boys. The one issue. His jumping's terrible, and he's fairly small, so he's, he's just going to get out of jumps. Pogba's just beating him in the air every two minutes. I'm not even surprised, bro. Like, I'm generally not even surprised. The game feels so against me, bro. It's actually insane. He scores a corner goal. A rebound corner goal. This guy's skill level just... It really hurts me, bro. This kid is unreal. Here's Neymar. Neymar. He won't score, though. Oh, he will. He will. Suck the thumb against this kid. Because he's so bad. And he literally have gifted him two goals. He'll score. He'll score a header, won't he? He's actually going to score a header. I can tell you for a fact. Now, nice minute, you ready for this? I can feel the game's felt so against me all game. They've gifted him two goals. Are you ready for this? He's going to score a header. I know for a fact. 90th minute header goal. Are you ready? Oh my god, he almost actually did. This is all this guy can do. Header. All he can do. He's done nothing else all game. From goal kicks, from his defenders, he's just hoofed it down the pitch. And he wins every single header because I've got Wass and Kante. I'm, if, you want, if you're playing FIFA at a high level, do not get Wass. If you're just chilling, though, like I usually do, don't play foot champs and stuff, uh, then I think Wass is good. Because on the ball, he feels good, but in the air, obviously, he's just such a downfall, man. But like I said, on the ball, he's actually really nice. Why Salah took so long to get to the ball there? There we go, boys. We did end up winning in the end. I don't know how I ended up winning that game. I generally thought... I was going to lose that game. But what we'll do, boys, we'll go into another game. He did get a 9.3 rating. He got two goals that game. I forgot about that. Two goals from centre mid, which is pretty sick. We're going to go jump into another game, and we'll try him as a cam this game. Look at the stats, by the way. Only 3-2, by the way. Right, okay, boys, now jumping into the second game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, drop Bernardo Silva into uh, centre mid, and we're going to be playing Was as a cam. So surprisingly, he did pick up two goals from centre mid. So it'll be interested to see whether he gets any assists, any goals, see what his attacking position is like. He might be... He might even play best as a cam, to be fair, boys. But what I might do is, in the second half as well, try him as a CDM as well. But anyway, boys, let's jump into the game, see how he plays. I baited the uh, Philippe Anderson. Lacazette's done well. Ooh, that's unlucky. Was, oh, that's nice. Baited two of them. Was. He's done well. How's your switch, brother? It's a great ball to tell his first time. Salah stamp on it. Kante. Anderson! Volleys are a joke in this game. If you get a volley like that, especially with one to watch Anderson, it's going in. But a lovely bit of play there. Was with a nice bit of build-up play as well. Great goal. K Ooh! Unlucky Was. Drop it back. Was, you see him, bro. You see him. Oh, this is going to be tight. If he's on, what a ball. I think he's on. Oh! What a long pass from Mr. Was. Suck that thumb, Bernardo. Can we stomp the ground or not? We can't. We can never do it. But what a ball. I might need a replay on that. What a ball. And a run from Tellers as well. Holy moly. What a goal, man. What a goal. I need a replay on that. I don't think it'll show the ball. No, it's not going to. Good pass from uh, Tellers as well, to be fair. And Bernardo Silva with a goal. What? You see it, bro. The vision. The vision. Tellers on the run again. Back stick. Ah, probably, probably shouldn't have. Shouldn't have rushed it, but the ball again from Wasper. I'm telling you, these long passes, dirty. Like I said, I feel ill. 
That's the first time I've ever scored one of them because I've, I've only just started learning it because I've seen how dirty it is. I honestly feel bad for that guy. Oh my god. Like, it's like, it's a, a great goal, but like, what the hell is this game? Oh my days. And he's gone and quit, boys. Anyway, my review on Wass is obviously, as I said, the downfall of him is definitely his height slash like heading. He's, he's jumping slow as well for someone small. If someone's small, you need good jumping on them. And he's got poor jumping as well. So, if you're going to play him as a CDM, you need someone that was like quite big. Maybe like a petite next to him. Like someone that's quite a big. Um, but, yeah, matching him next to Kante is probably not the best idea. But I definitely think he's a, be he's a better like centre mid than he was at Cam. Um, but, yeah, boys, if you could drop a like, that would be sick. 50 likes would be sick. Drop a sub if you're new. And, yeah, boys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.